I'm genuinely having a lot of fun playing Company Heroes 3. However, at the same time, I'm incredibly frustrated by how unpolished this game is, and frankly, we all deserve a lot better. Hi guys, I'm Helping Hands. I'm a veteran content creator of the Company Heroes franchise for many years now, since the early days when I used to play Company Heroes 1, to my torment wins of Company Heroes 2. And now let's move on to Company Heroes 3 itself, guys. And unfortunately, it does appear that Relic Entertainment has dropped the ball once again here. Because as you look at the Steam store for the Company Heroes 3 game, it is currently got mixed reviews. Sitting at only 62% positive reviews, up from 50% on launch day. A lot of people have been complaining about the audio, graphics, bugs, and, and, and frankly, just how unpolished the game is. Now specifically guys, I'm going to be looking at the unpolished aspects of the game as well as maybe the bugs in the game because, you know, if you remember like the release for Company Heroes 3 was actually planned for November 17th and you can see this is the message that Relic put out back then when they were announcing they were going to delay the game by four months to fix these issues, to polish the game up, to, to polish the pixels, to, to, to squash some bugs. But what were they doing in that time? Because they've clearly not done that. As you'll now see, as I'll go through loads of issues that are still present in the game, still three weeks after launch. So guys, you're going to have to forgive me here because I'm going to go on a bit of a rant, but I do believe it's well deserved because, you know, the state of some of these aspects of the game, like the UI, is absolutely abysmal. Let's begin. So let's say you're going to add a friend over here in the social. You've got your two different friends list. So far, it's, it's not too bad, but one, you know, you've got the, the this pop-out window that's blocking some of the buttons here. You know, you can't click the button there. There's no X button to get rid of this social pop-up menu. To get rid of it, I'll have to click this friends button over here. So I have to click a completely different button. Let's say we want to add a friend. Let's just for uh, the sake of, let's say, add Elpern. Uh, then you would expect to press enter to, to find your friend, right? So I'm pressing enter, nothing. Oh, I've got to go hit this magnifying glass to actually get my friend to pop out. Honestly, it feels like... There's been no thought or time or effort put into this whatsoever. Let's now go into the loadout scene over here. This is, this is you know, completely unacceptable. You go for the British faction, right? You click on the tanks. Let's see that. Does that look like a, the icon of an M3 Grant? No, it doesn't look like the uh, the silhouette of a, uh, a Grant. Let's click on it. Oh, and now it's a Sherman. That makes no sense whatsoever. It looks really unprofessional that Relic have put the game out like this in this state. Let's go into the Vermont, for instance. Let's check out the vehicles. Um, that's a Kettencrad, right? Oh, but it's got a picture of the um, of a Kubel wagon. That doesn't make any sense. Why is that like that? It's just messy. It just oh, it infuriates me, and it should be infuriating you too because this stuff should this should have been picked up by the the quality testers months ago. I can't believe that you know even three weeks on. That that's what really annoys me is the fact that it's the game's been released. There are these clear, obviously, assets that are not correct or the, the incorrect icons. That seems like an easy fix, but Relic haven't bothered to fix that yet. Simple things that you expect from a AAA rated game is having your friends list in alphabetical order. But for some reason, that is not the case here. Let's now move on to another issue here. For instance, this is a clip showcasing the fact that you can still barb wire yourself in when this issue was fixed in Company Heroes 2. Why are issues that, are, that were fixed reoccurring in a new game it does not make any sense to me. In this next clip, I've got a machine gun team here without a machine gun for some reason. It's just vanished. They can't use a machine gun, so I've just wasted manpower on this squad. Great. I picked up an MG, and they haven't got a gun. They won't set up. And the physics on these planes, man. My god. Move, move, move forward, move forward, move forward, move forward. Planes strafing, killing everything. What is that f***? Is that a more plane? Okay. Even the pathing is terrible right now. In this clip, which happened yesterday, I've got Panzer Jaeger squad in a 250 half track. I'm trying to dive down the road to chase the ambulance, but it just can't seem to figure out how to get across the bridge for some reason. Why is this freaking vehicle? What is the pathing? Do you see how many how many move orders I gave it to just drive straight down the road to chase that thing? In this clip during the Company Heroes Tournament Series Master League, uh, you can see one of the red planes from the Axis player flying off into the distance off the mini-map for some reason. How's that? What the hell? Is that Why are you still there? <laughs> little baby plane! There's other issues in multiplayer, like trying to figure out who your friends are, because you try and click on this person here, there's no name tag here to indicate who this person is, who this player is. Also, the team colours are completely confusing if you're used to something like Company of Heroes 2 or Company of Heroes 1, where the team colours 
were supposed to be blue, yellow, and teal, and green. But now, for some reason, green is on the Axis team, um, or, or on the opposing side, when it would be on your side. Now, you have orange as a as a team color. So, it doesn't make any sense. It just, it just makes old Company Heroes players confused. And, yeah, I just don't understand why they've done this. So, yeah, guys, I'm just incredibly frustrated and sorry for going off in a rant but like I, I like we definitely deserve better surely right like we, we put a lot of time and effort into this franchise you know we were we were there with code development relic was champion code development which is all about trying to get the community on board to help make the game the best it can be but did they not listen to any of our advice on on all these like kind of aspects and all these bugs and stuff it just it feels like it was kind of lip service they were just paying lip service and that was it really you know, first impressions matter a lot. A lot of people have, you know, gone onto the Steam store, maybe thought, oh, let's check out Company Heroes 3. Is that game good? So I've seen it's got mixed reviews and haven't, you know, and have now thought they'll never play it, you know, because of those mixed, you know, because they can see it's got mixed reviews. And that's definitely affected sales. And I'm now genuinely worried about the future of the Company Heroes franchise. Because if Dawn of, Dawn of War 3 was dropped by uh, by Relic and Sega because of how badly that did, and I, and I know for a fact that the, the mixed reviews have definitely affected sales, so... I really hope that the future of Company Heroes 3 uh, is not in jeopardy or the, the franchise in general. Um, but, but there you go. But um, yeah, just very disappointed in Relic that they've, uh, they've, they've had all these issues, especially like the assets. Like, how difficult is it just to swap the right asset in, you know, for a, for a full re release of the launch, you know, and then not fix it? Like, you know, maybe launch, you might be a, might be a mistake. They might have launched the, the incorrect patch version of the game and thought, oh, damn, we can, well, let's fix it like the next day or, or a few hours later to replace the, 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 the incorrect assets. But no, it's three weeks later and they still haven't fixed that, which means that there's just a, you know, a lack of passion, a lack of professionalism in my eyes. But is it worth £50 or $60 right now? I would argue probably still, even after all I said, probably yes, because you are getting four factions at release, which is two more than you'd usually get in a Company Heroes franchise. And you've got two full campaigns as well to play through as well. It's just, you know, it's just you're very frustrating. It's so unpolished. So unless you're a diehard fan of Company Heroes like me, I would maybe wait, wait six months, wait to a year. It'll be cheaper then, hopefully be more polished and it'll have more content by then. Um, if, if Sega haven't decided to drop the franchise, let's hope not, but uh, we'll see. But yeah, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll be making loads more Company Heroes 3 content to come. Uh, I still really much enjoy the game. It's just, you know, I get really worked up because I'm so passionate about the franchise, and I want the best for it. And and I can clearly see, you know, these issues that should have been picked up a lot earlier and should have been fixed, and it just makes me really annoyed. And I hope it does you as well. I hope, hope you get annoyed as well. But yeah, have a good one, boys. Take care.